Now, um, what we tried to do here was clarify the reactions, and we tried to clarify when they would be used for syntheses. Uh, however, what you have to do now is do lots and lots of practice problems. Um, because unless you do tons of practice, you're going to forget these reactions and get them confused with other reactions. So you've got to try to find the time to do enough practice that these reactions don't just make sense, but they become like second nature. So you don't Should have to I think get about them. Out of the second language book or the I would start with the second language book. Now, notice it seems like you've already been working in the second language book, right? I'm like and, halfway through chapter right. 11, so. Is that the chapter on addition? Yeah. Chapter 11? I thought that was chapter 10 on addition. But anyway, uh, if you're working on the chapter on addition, that's good. So, yeah, I think it's 11. You're right, yeah, I'm wrong. Yeah, you're right, it is. Okay, however, so I can tell that you've been working on it because I can tell that you knew some of these reactions here. However, notice, even though that you knew some stuff about these reactions, um, you probably did not get to know enough yet to get full credit on most of these problems. So what that tells you is maybe before you do the second half of the second language book, you should go back and redo the first half. It's repetition that's really the key. Just looking at something once doesn't drill it into people's brains enough. You have to keep going over it over and over. One nice thing about the second language book is it does give you a nice small set of drills on each problem. So uh, I, my recommendation is the first thing I would do is go back to the beginning of the second language book and just do each of the problems over again. I think if you do that, um, there's enough drill in there that you'll start to get pretty comfortable um, with the reactions. Um, and then when you do the second half of the second language book, again, my recommendation would be do it twice. Try to do the problems twice so that you're really drilling into your mind uh, the way the reactions work, because it really takes a lot of repetition. Um, I don't know if I've given you my chess analogy, but when you're playing chess, it's not enough to be able to figure out how the pieces move. Right? It's not enough to be able to take 30 seconds and remember, oh, the bishop moves diagonally, and take another 30 seconds and see that the rook moves uh, horizontally and vertically. You have to know automatically, just when you look at a piece, the way it moves. And the reason is that you're going to have to plan two or three steps ahead of moving a bunch of pieces together. You have to just feel how the pieces move. Well, you have to have the same attitude towards these reactions. It's not good enough to look at this and 30 seconds later say, aha, this is the product. You need to be able to look at this and say, aha, I just feel that this is the product because you're going to have to put maybe two or three of these reactions together in a problem. Um, and if you have to think for 30 seconds about each of those, we're going to, there's going to be too much going on in our minds. And, and the way that comes is just uh, the repetition uh, and the practice. So I think that's one of the most useful things in the second language book, that it gives you enough simple drill to really practice on that. Uh, but then if you still feel you need more practice, go, go, go to your textbook and try to find, you know that the problems I like there are like the A through K problems, the multi-part problems where they give you many different variations on similar reactions. That's what I think really gives people insight into, uh, uh, that's what I think really makes people comfortable with the reactions, those A through K problems where there's many different variations on the same so thing. On, you don't mean on the um, problem sets, but in the book, right? Or in the problem sets also? Well, the problem sets are assigned from the book, right? Sometimes, sometimes oh. they other things too. Oh, okay. It seems to me in the past that most of the problems were taken from the end of chapter problems in the book. But anyway, uh, it, it doesn't matter where they come from, but the problems that I think are most useful are the A through K problems, where they give you like 15 different variations on addition. Uh, and then you, you go through those. And again, it, it might be useful to do those more than once, because it's not enough to be able to figure out the answer. You have to just know the answer just by looking at those, so that you don't get overwhelmed by all the different reactions that are coming in. Uh, because I think we made good progress today, but there's still tons of reactions we haven't gotten to. And the key to making more good progress is hopefully we won't have to spend too much more time reviewing these reactions. Hopefully you'll be able to find enough time to practice these on your own so that when we meet again, we can just go over new stuff. Uh, and that really just comes with that, that practice uh, and the repetition. And of course, you might find it helpful to study the handout and study the, the key ideas. There's some things in the handout we didn't talk about. Um, if something in the handout is mysterious, you can just ignore it. But most of the stuff in the handout hopefully will make sense. We did page one, top of page three, right? That's right. We didn't talk, even there, we didn't talk about every single aspect. And also, I prepared that handout when I was um, working with students for a different instructor. So there might be some stuff on there that not, wasn't too important for your course. So again, if something looks weird or mysterious, you can just ignore it. But most of the stuff on there would be, uh, would be helpful to you. OK. Uh, and then for the future, what we have left is we still have about half of the addition reactions left. Mm -hmm. uh, and then it sounds like your course has already moved past alkenes to some new material. So. Sorry, all kinds today. Okay. Those are important, but I would say the most important material of the final is going to be the alkenes. And that's what you really need to make sure you're comfortable with. These videos are offered on a pay-what-you-like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There is a link to my website in the info box. 
The address is www.freelance-teacher.com slash videos.htm or you can just use the link in the info box. By the way, I also offer tutoring via Skype and you can find more information about that Skype tutoring service at my website. Thanks.